Hey, we are here with Hoops Never Stops Academy, Marcus Wagner. What's going on, Marcus? Not too much, man. Can't complain. Awesome, man. So, so Marcus, you just joined the uh, the accelerator program, right? With uh, Make Money Coaching Sports, is that right? Right. That's correct. Cool. How how long ago did you join? Uh, I think it was middle of February. Middle of February. How long were you in business? Um. From like when you first started? Uh, first started in 14. So I've been doing this uh, nine years now, man. Nine years. Wow. And what was something that like you used to struggle with within your business? Within those? Um, biggest struggle I was having at the moment was probably a lack of growth. Uh, the, the speed of it. And the um i said the lack of growth and i'd also say the client retainment was mm -hmm. not as high as i wanted it to be um i think those are probably the two biggest things and obviously the uh the growth is kind of piggybacking off just not able to make the uh the big bucks that i was looking to do right right and and since joining the accelerated program um like what type of changes have have you made that have helped you? Would you say? Oh man, I mean, man, um, Ben has changed my life, man. As far as what I've been doing, doing it my, as long as I've, I've been doing it, um, I was actually just talking to somebody about this yesterday, ironically, but I just never realized how wrong I was doing it, you know. So, <laughs> right. uh, I mean, it's just you know, I'm kind of like a, uh, a dog chasing its tail, man. But um, so the number one thing what you're gonna hear, I'm sure, from not just me, I've heard from other folks, is organization. You know, getting organized was the first step. Um, and then I'm a big systems guy anyway. It's how I train, how I teach players to learn. So being able to add systems and uh, and processes to everything is what changed the game for me. Um, and then sales strategies that he, you know, implemented and kind of introduced me to, uh, the promotions and all that kind of stuff is – just things that I never really understood the value of. So it was more so the organization, um, systems and processes, and then also um, using different sales tactics in order to uh, grow the business. Right. Can you can you tell us something that like maybe like a little tidbit of information that you specifically that you used that was different? Than what you used to do, like you used to do this in your business, and then you realize, all right, I'm gonna, I should do it like this. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, there's tons of them. Uh, top three. I think the first one would probably say uh, commitments. You know, I never did a contract based uh, uh, business model, and I know folks who did, and I was always a little leery of it. But now that I've done it and I'm able to see, you know, the benefits of it, that's the number one. You know, being able to lock players in for a term it changes everything not just for them but you know for me also um in addition to that is my terms and conditions you know laying out an agreement for the parents to understand that this is how business will be handled if we're going to be in business together mm -hmm. um that's just huge uh i'll give you three and then probably the third thing um that i used to do that I don't do now, oh, is um, willing to allow people to kind of come and train. It's kind of piggybacking off the fit, but having mm -hmm. people come and train kind of when they feel like it. You know, they would come a couple of days and they would leave and they come a couple of days. You know, no longer we're not doing that anymore. And again, I, I just seen how the parents and the players, how they treat me in the program mm -hmm. is night and day, you know. So those are probably the top three. Right. So they, so you, it, it sounds like you're saying that they look at you as, in your business more professionally, you know, they're not trying to get one over on you. They're not trying to like jump in for two weeks, like you said, and, and get out. Like they're either in or they're out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the, the, I think the best way to say it is they just, they respect, they respect it a lot better. You know, it's mm -hmm. the respect has gone up. Um, Cause I think that they admire and kind of see the effort, and, you know, the ways that I've, I run it now, it's, it's a little bit different. It's not just your typical, um, you know, come in and train, get some cash and go, you know, so it's a lot more involved with the player value. Oh, another thing is the, the player evaluation mm -hmm. uh, component, which is huge for me. Now, that right there is really 
that really, really, really kind of changed the whole game where I can ask you to play her in and evaluate them in order to assess if it's going to be a good fit. That right there is just, that's probably one of my favorites. Right. So now it's like the, the, the parent is, has to qualify their child, right? They, they're not qualifying you. You're qualifying them. Is that, have you found that? Exactly. 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 That's exactly what's going on, man. I, I tell parents is, uh, you know, they, I'm known in the area, so I'm not new. So I have a way of my sales is a little different, but I tell them, you know, it's my program has changed and I'm putting a lot of red tape around the program. So, you know, <laughs> nobody's just able to to enter in and they, they, they get what I'm saying. You know, I used to have an open door policy, you know, come and go as you please. It is no longer that way. Either you're going to come in this way or you're not welcome. So, right, right, right. you know, it sounds harsh and tough, but again, at the end of the day, it, it just, it creates a different expectation that I've never really been introduced to that yet. Right. So have you found that you're, have you attracted more committed players and more serious parents and things like that since you changed your process? No doubt. No doubt. I mean, again, doing it as long as I've done it, you know, a lot of these things you kind of know, but you really don't. I, it's kind of like training the way I train. You know, I tell players sometimes you just learn things and sometimes the difference between understanding the concept and just being able to show it, you know, and I think that's kind of what I've always really kind of had an idea. Um, and I kind of didn't realize that the parents that I had and the players that I like to work with the most are always the ones that are most committed but I never still made that a requirement. So now that I've required it, now I'm surrounding the program with nothing but, you know, committed players and parents. So it's like a different vibe, you know, it's a right. totally different uh, culture, which is really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a community. And now I'm able to kind of build a community with uh, with these parameters. And like I said, it's, it's, it's night and day, but yeah, no, the parents are definitely, it's different. You know, the parents, it's, it's a different, uh, totally different vibe, man. Mm -hmm. And have you been able to like, weed out people who you would have let in but you talk to them and you're like eh you don't you don't seem like I had a call, you know, I had, I, I had a call yesterday Nick. Oh, yeah. I had a call yesterday with a very with a very the prospect man I've actually he's I, he's not really a cold lead I've done uh he attended the camp or that I did before and then he was looking for uh he fell into a uh, text promotion that I ran on Monday or Tuesday. And we were talking and uh, he's working with a, a trainer in the area that I'm familiar with. Mm -hmm. And of course I explained my program to him. And uh, as soon as I got to the portion, we started talking about commitment. He started to balk right there and I knew, okay, this is, this is not it. I already knew. And I was ready to shut down the call, but uh, you know, I kind of, I kind of kind of framed how what commitment means and he just wanted to hear the rest. So I took the rep as, as Ben says, I, I need the rep. So I just mm -hmm. took the rep and uh, finished the call out. You know what I mean? Just to practice. Right. And, um, but I knew I won't hear from that guy. He, he's not, a, he's not a fit. <laughs> so what, for, for, for coaches who are watching, like what's something that he said that made you believe that, all right, he's, he can't commit. He's not committed or his child's not committed. Like, What's up? Did he directly say yeah, it, or was it like? Well, yeah, I, so I'll tell you, Nick, it's funny you're asking, uh, and I hope this video, people watch this, because I think they'll relate. So, you know, it, again, it's, it's it's all about reps. You know, we've done this for a long time, just the training component. So mm -hmm. I approached this uh, sales process the same way. I wanted to get in as many reps as possible. So um, when I started doing the program in, I think, the end of February, uh, so I've been doing it for about a month and maybe a couple of weeks and I'm at 37 kids right now, man. So wow. I've done a lot of reps. So what I'll tell you is this now, now some of those kids were obviously past or current clients that I just, you know, flipped into the new program. Right. But there are a lot of new kids as well, but neither here or there, here's the point I'm trying to make. After you've done all these reps, you can hear it. Right. So I have my script or my sales uh, pitch or sales, whatever you want to call it, sales call the way it's formulated that there are points in the process where I can hear you right away. So my script goes, um, you know, players, you know, we require them to be committed for at least six or 12 months. I don't even mention my three month commitment anymore, but I need them for at nice. least six or 12 months. And uh, the players that commit the longest are always the ones who have the most. Uh, mm -hmm. success and do you see yourself being able to commit for a minimum of six months max 12 and uh, he says 
As soon as you hear that, I said, it. <laughs> I already knew. I just, I, just, I, just, I just know, Nick. I, just, I mean, man, we're just no, there's no need to BS, man. As soon as I hear that deep breath and, well, you know, with all the activities he has going, uh-huh, yeah. I know. All the, I just went through everything. He doesn't have activities. He's free on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. You, okay? you, you already, so asked, I, you already I mean, asked that question. I, I already know. Again, it's just the reps, people. You got to put the reps in. You put the reps in, you, you'll know right away. With, you know. So, like I said, I, that was the first thing. And then that happened. I said, okay, he's not going to, you know, he's not going to be able to do it. Because in his mind, he's overextended. And, and he is, you know, so I, I mean, he, he is, that's the reality of it. So, you know, like I said, that's kind of what I knew, man. I, hope, I know it's a long, long winded answer, but I, I no, feel like that will help people because it, it just, it just, I knew there was a first sign like, uh, uh-uh, uh, and then when I hit him uh-huh. with the direct question, I already right. knew. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, so it seems like, you know, even though you haven't been doing this process a long time that you've, you've you've picked up enough reps where you've learned right significant amount in just Definitely. that short time right it sounds like you've had Absolutely. a lot of calls it sounds like you've had a lot of calls with uh yeah man i'm actually uh, i'm getting better at logging them now but i've had uh i think to date i've had i've had uh 27 29 calls so you know it's wow. i try to do uh and again, those are you know, the parents, some parents I knew. So, you know, I, I don't want to act like they're all fresh, you know, fresh and new. Or, <clears throat> I didn't know some of these parents, but they still went through the whole, you know, the whole process. So I can kind of give it to them. I told them, I told them I'm going to usher you in on the red carpet. Like I would do brand new customers. So that, that was my pitch. And they, they, they loved it, man. That's, <laughs> they, they that's loved great. It. That's great wording. So did you, so you changed even clients who you were working with, you changed what their commitment was oh, absolutely you changed everything absolutely. you revamped the whole thing absolutely. whether you were new or not every everybody wow. in the program is under the perfect player program i do not have any drop-ins i don't do nobody is a you know under my old business plan or whatever nobody's doing month packages either you're in three six or 12 months that's it mm-hmm. wow that's awesome and Financially, you don't have to give me numbers if you don't want to, but like how much like like have you grown significantly with financially, like too? Has oh, it yeah. gone, has no, it gone I mean, up? I mean it's gone up uh drastically, bro. I, I have uh it's it's kind of overwhelming to be honest with you. I didn't know I had no idea that <laughs> this worked <laughs> like that. You know, I mean it's it's it brings a smile. I've made more money doing it this way. Then I mean I'm almost halfway of what I made last year, so it's it's really? it's it's I'm almost there, man. I'm about a third wow. of the way there, so it's it's a, I'm sorry, not a third of the third way, about a quarter of the way there. So wow. it's uh it's, already. I hey, now I just follow. I'm just following the process, and I'm still going through a couple modules, you know. But I got I'm, I'm kind of stuck <clears> because. You know, I had to reorganize. Even, even so, you know, we had to reorganize. And when you when you're going through each module, it's like an action step. So I get stuck because I have so much revamping and reorganizing, right. re, you know, organizing to do. Excuse me. And now I finally have my my business automated now. So I've done pretty much everything to where there's a I call it a workflow, and I have a I have an actual workflow that I've uh, put together. So I know each step that clients go through, mm. uh, and you know, from the beginning all the way to the uh, to the end. So. Right. And if if you had to give like advice to somebody who was like seeking help with their business, but they're like, eh, I don't know if I want to like invest in myself or like, you know, was, is it going to work for me? Like what type of advice would you say to somebody like that? Who's kind of like, um, they well, want help, but they're kind of skeptical of everything. Well, I got, uh, I can say what I, I got two of my buddies. I've been trying to get uh, Ben to get in contact. I'm trying to get them to get in contact with Ben. And I'll tell you what I'm telling them. Um, you're wasting time. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling them just, just, I mean, there's, there's, I tell them there's, there's a million ways to skin a cat, but I'm just telling you that this way works. Mm-hmm. And it's, uh, I don't know, man. I just don't, don't be scared to get organized. A lot of people are just scared to actually go through and you know and re reorganize everything and change and all that. So that's that's the biggest advice I would say. Don't wait. You know, don't we be nine years in and then realize that you've been doing it wrong like I did. That's right. It's a lot of time wasted. I mean, a lot of time wasted. You're listening. You're missing out on a lot of revenue. Like that. That. I mean, a lot of revenue. 
So that's right. that's the biggest thing I would say. You're losing money. So why why lose money? Just start now. Find some money in order to invest in yourself, and you'll make. I made it back. I mean, what fifteen times already? I mean, right. I'm crazy. I mean, it's just it's crazy. So it's not even it's not that's even awesome. a question to me. You know, right. So it sounds like you're saying you wish you started earlier, or you wish you <laughs> man, man, Nick. Nick, man, come on, man. You you know me, man. man come on, man. Come on, man. I don't. I'd have, he almost made me cuss, man. I'd have been doing this, man, five, six, eight years ago if I could. If I'd been doing this from the gate, I, I would be. I, I'd have my region on lock. I mean, literally. I mean, I, I I haven't even gotten. I get very few people who say no. You know, the only reason why the program doesn't work for them is because financial or you know other commitments. But it's never been. I don't like the program or I don't like, you know, the process that you're walking me through. You know what I mean? Right. It's not, I've never gotten that. So that that's how I look at it. I, I would never go back to right. uh, what they call hustling. I'm not hustling anymore, Nick. I don't right. want to hustle anymore, man. So now, now you feel like, Hey, this, wanna... this feels like a sustainable business, right? Oh, absolutely. That... I mean, I, I, everything is automated. <clears throat> yeah. I can, I, you can scale. This process teaches you how to automate, organize, and scale. And that's that's the goal to where and my my goal is to eventually be able to go to the gym when I want to, not because yeah. I have to. That, that's that's what I want to do. You know, I have other folks to go because they have to, but I go when I want to. So do you have do you currently have other coaches working under you right now? <clears throat> not yet, but I, I am going to have to start hiring uh probably in I think in June, as we June to July, in order to grow, I can't maintain, you know, all my clients by myself at this growth rate. So, you know, if I want to continue to grow, it's going to be required. Mm -hmm. And do you, what's the limit that you put on, is there a certain number that you put on groups in terms of players or no? Uh, as far as total kids in the, in the program? No, total kids like per in a session. Like, is there a limit that you put? Or oh, you yeah, just, yeah, oh, yeah. What's your, yeah, what's your yeah, cap yeah, for sure. per like hour that you train? Yeah, so I do, um, my model is designed for, it's called personal training. And I do a max of six players. So it's six or less. Um, but the way that it will end up working as everything continues to fill up when I max out, there'll be six players. So everybody will be in the system, session with six players. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's, so that's, there's no, there's no larger group. You just do six and that's it. Right, right now. So. Yeah. Right now we're doing, yeah, there are plans to get back to doing my study hall. Um, my mm -hmm. study hall is basically a clinic style of training. Okay. Um, I just haven't, excuse me, I just haven't gotten back into it, but the plan is to try to do that in the summertime and get that going for the rest of the year and kind of get back to where I was doing uh, pre COVID. So I'll be running those, excuse me, probably about once a month uh, for two hours. And then mm -hmm. the uh, the size of that would probably be no more than fifteen or twenty. Gotcha. So in stu so study stu study hall for people watching is something is a program that you used to have that was just just meant more kids could be in it, and then personal training yeah, just being six yeah, of us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, personal <laughs> training is obviously more intimate, one on one, um, in a small group setting, and then. Uh, study hall is actual large group training mm -hmm. where uh, the way it's designed is you're kind of you know, it's you're kind of doing uh, it's self-sustaining so you know each player is doing what they're doing they have their own ball they're doing whatever it is that we're working on that particular mm -hmm. day gotcha awesome man and where where uh can people find you on uh instagram and are you you're on youtube as well right oh yeah where yeah yeah man i'm, I'm on i'm everywhere yeah so if you search uh hoop you know, with the out and S, so it's just right here. Hoop mm -hmm. never stops academy. Uh, Instagram, I just put the uh, underscores in between hoop and all the words, and you know, it'll come right up. Hoop never stops academy on YouTube, Twitter, uh, Facebook. Uh, you just Google us, we're, we're there, man. Mm -hmm. And you're and you're in California, correct? We are in the Bay Area. I'm in the East Bay, California area. I do a lot of training in Concord, uh, which is near Walnut Creek. Um, uh, let's see what other cities do folks know. Walnut Creek, Martinez, Richmond area. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, so I want to thank you, Marcus, for uh, for taking the time to talk and uh, I look forward to chatting with you some more. Oh, good, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, bro. All right.